Welcome to our Facebook Live. So today we are talking about the spring issue of Kiwi Magazine. So get ready for springtime with us. I mean, I feel like this year I just I'm so ready for spring. There are so many amazing articles in this issue that we can't wait to talk to you about. And on top of that, happy International Women's Day. Um, Yay! So that today as well. We are a women-owned and women-run company. Kiwi, our wonderful editorial director here, you know, with girl power over here, women power. We love it. So happy <laughs> International Women's Day. Um, and comment and let us know you're here. Three lucky people are going to be winning a surprise pack today. Yes. Thank you so much, Eleanor. We are so excited to be here and to share the spring issue with you. As Eleanor said, I am Maureen, the editorial director of Kiwi, and Eleanor is our social media manager. All right. So, um, all the different ways that you can read Kiwi. So you can head to kiwimagaonline.com to read it for free by clicking on the Kiwi tab on momsmeet.com. Um, you can also access it through the Issue app, I-S-S-U-U, -S -S -U, um, or just issue.com. Um, and there's a new feature that we are uh, utilizing for this issue where you'll be able to read the individual stories in a mobile-friendly capacity on your phone. Um, so you can head to the Issue app to do that, and we'll be sharing those links on our social too. So it'll be easy to get right to the stories that you're looking for from the issue. Okay. And like I said, three lucky people are going to be winning today. So um, we are going to be giving out Kiwi surprise packs, which we know you guys all love. So make sure you're commenting, sharing, and liking the video for your chance to win. And we're going to announce the winners on Friday. All right, let's jump into some info about the issue. Okay, so one of our feature stories, this issue, something that's really important to us at Kiwi is talking about sustainability. And so we are focusing in on climate change, right, for this issue and how our kids' health is going to be affected by a changing climate. So what's climate change doing to our kids' health is our feature story. Um, it's become increasingly clear that our kids' childhood will be directly impacted by the climate crisis. And so we dive deeper into the impacts of climate change on our children in this issue issue. Um, no matter where you live, climate change is or will affect your kids' lives. And um, so we're talking about all the different health risks associated with climate change. And um, there are some major ways research shows that children of the world may be affected by the climate change from whether it be from air pollution, extreme heat, natural disasters, and long-term psychological effects. So um, in this story, we are covering those health risks and offering ways that you can protect and prepare your family. Um, we've even heard from one of the head doctors focusing on climate change and its effects on kids' health um, from the Harvard Sea Change Dr. Aaron Bernstein, which is amazing. They're doing some great work um, in this field, and we got to hear his perspective on it in this article. So head over. Um, you know, what part of this is, while it can feel overwhelming, we're trying to offer practical um, protections that you can put in place and, and ways to be prepared for your family. And just, you know, the more that you know, the more you can prepare and, and help your kids live the healthiest life possible. Yeah, and, and that's something, too, that we're just also passionate about here. So we are super excited for you guys to jump into this um, issue and specifically that article. But then, as always, we've got some recipes for you guys. So spring is a great time to get some sheet pan meals going. So they are one of the most convenient ways to get dinner on the table. You can make so many different dishes with the sheet pan. I just I really love making sheet pan meals because you can just chop it, throw it on the sheet pan, stick it in the oven, and then like half an hour later, you're ready to eat. It's, it's so convenient and so easy. So one of the recipes is sheet pan shrimp fajitas, um, which just, you know, look amazing. I'm, oh my gosh. Yeah. They look delicious. I could go for those right now. I'll I know. The side. Mm. <laughs> but it's you know, shrimp, peppers, red onions, and you've got all those really good spices, cumin, chili powder, garlic powder, paprika. So super flavorful, but again, super easy because it's a sheet pan meal. And then we've got sheet pan gnocchi with vegetables. Um, so I love gnocchi. So this is definitely one of those recipes that I've got on my list. Um, and this has all sorts of good veggies in it. You can see it's got grape tomatoes, sugar snap peas, bell peppers, onions, roasted tomatoes are just so good. They just like explode in your mouth with flavor. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely going to be a delicious recipe you want to make. And it's vegetarian. So you don't have to worry about any of the, the meat stuff there. It's plant-based. So we love that. 
And then we have sheet pan chicken and vegetable stir fry. Who doesn't love a good stir fry? Um, so this is a super simple stir fry recipe. Um, and it's got soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, oyster sauce, honey, ginger, garlic, you know, all of those flavors that you really love. And it's super easy to make. You can serve it over rice. You can eat it on its own. Super great. All of these are amazing for meal prep. So you definitely want to be checking these out because, you know, they're so simple and so delicious. I love these recipes so much in my house. I just feel like, like no matter what, we do the dishes and then I turn around and the sink is full of dishes <laughs> um, from prepping for our family and all of our mm -hmm. meals. So I love that this is like a simple, easy way to get a really healthy meal out. And I especially love the gnocchi one because mm -hmm. sometimes when you think sheep pan meal, okay, I'm going to have my... Um, you know, my meat protein there and everything, but this is a really nice um, vegetarian vegan option. And I love, love, love that. So give them all a try. Um, I know I will be trying that. I think I'm going to start with the shrimp fajita one. Mm -hmm. That is just right up my alley. I love, love, love that. So they look so good. Um, next up, we're going to head into one of our other features, which is the mental wellness family checklist. As many of us have been um, dealing with our families over the last two years of unpredictability um, with COVID-19, it's really important that we check in on our family's mental health mm -hmm. and create an environment where your kids feel open to talking about their feelings. So right now is a really good time to, to, to have these open conversations with your kids and make sure that they're feeling okay, because a lot of us are not and we need the extra help right now. So check out our story in this issue to learn about the importance of how you can help raise um, resilient kids, get um, some conversations conversation starters. If you if you um, need some help starting these tougher conversations with your littles or, or your middle grade kids and learn some other important signs that your child might be struggling during this time. So it's really just a, you know, an, a conversation starter and get the ball rolling here. But we really we care about all of our families at QE and we want to help you and make sure that you are able to help prioritize your kids health in, uh, in this time of need. Yeah, and this is definitely something that um, I am a little shocked at, but we're approaching that two year mark. I know. Of everything kind of getting shut down. So we're still kind of in this tumultuous time. There's who knows what's going to happen. So I feel like this is such an important resource for parents out there because we do need to make sure that we're prioritizing mental health as much as we are physical health, as much as we are nutrition. Like we need to make sure we're taking care of our kids' brains too. So, really, really awesome article. Um, and then we've got some other highlights um, in our issue. So we have three crafts to nurture a love of nature. So this is going to be a bird seed treat, a gorgeous flower sun catcher, which is just, uh, I can't wait to make that. It looks so pretty. And then a bean and seed mosaic, which is also super fun. So just really nice spring crafts for your family to make together. And then we have our book section. So inspire your kids to make the world a better place with five new releases that inspire perseverance and self-love. So this is our reading corner feature. These are some awesome books that you definitely want to check out for your kids and they cover all different age groups. So there's something for everybody. And then we've also got our in season now feature. Uh, this time it's the humble onion. We all know and love onions, but this is, <laughs> I think this is just fun to learn a little bit more about them because I feel like I didn't know some of the stuff and I use onions all the time. And then we've got info about what is a reductitarian just a, a new term that we're learning about. Um, and then spotlighting mom stress and so much more. So there's just a lot of really amazing content in this issue that you do not want to miss out on. Yes. Thank you so much, Eleanor. And I want to go back to the craft feature because first of all, it's gorgeous. Um, and these crafts are so amazing because we, it can be a good jumping off point to get your kids to head outdoors and forage and, and kind of go on a mission throughout your backyard or, or, your local park and pick out all of the different um, materials that you need for these crafts. So they really are great. And it's a great like springtime craft to, mm -hmm. to, to be excited about this new season of like of, of plants coming back into bloom and bees and, and, and all of those things happening. So it, it's really amazing. Check that out for your kids. It's a great thing to start as a weekend project, or if you have littles during the week. Um, so I love that so much. So again, you, the spring issue is should be in your inbox um, coming up now or in the next couple of minutes if you subscribe to our um, newsletter. And then also you can head to KiwiMagOnline.com to read it for free. You can also head to MomsMeet.com, click on the Kiwi tab. And then like I explained in the beginning, go to the issue app and you'll be able to get each article specific story there too, as well as read the whole um 
the whole magazine from cover to cover. So we have something else that we want to make sure that we draw attention to just in case you um, are joining us and, and aren't aware of this or don't forget to register for the Moms Me Virtual Wow Summit, which is happening at the end of the month, the 29th through the 31st. So this is a virtual event and it is a three-day event filled with education and inspiration plus amazing prizes for parents who want to raise healthy and happy kids. Registration is free for Moms Meet members and it's also free to join Moms Meet and you can register at wowevents.momsmeet.com. So please um, join us for that event. You'll see Eleanor and I again there, and we're, mm -hmm. we have a, an amazing lineup of speakers for you to learn from and chances to win prizes and, and meet with great brands. Um, so it's a really great event. So join us, join us. And for this issue, uh, we thank you for joining us today. And remember to keep sharing, liking, and commenting for your chance to win a surprise pack. And, and go read uh, the spring issue of Kiwi. Woo. Well, we hope everyone is having a wonderful International Women's Day. Um, start to spring soon, all of that good stuff. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And we hope you have a great rest of your day. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye.